Hey morning. guys, we're, in this Discord real... roleplay, nobody can see. What an amazing intro to this episode, because I like, pressed record right before you started talking. Don't worry, we all got rear-ended in the back of our minds. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of Mountains of Murder. Today I'm joined by six lovely investigators, aka guests or workers at this lovely hotel. In case you forgot who they are, here they are once again. We're joined by Scorched playing Time Sleek. We're joined by RV playing Rowan Emerald Pytild. We're joined by Everest playing Casey Michaels. Malibu, who's playing Gillamine. My brother Quinn playing good old Gavin Bolt. And Foxleaf, who has now left. And Foxleaf, who is playing Snowy Light Knight. Oh boy, my favorite episode of Dragon Ball Z. My favorite episode of Dragon Ball Z. Last time on Mountains of Last Murder. Time. Last time on Mountains of Murder. I don't remember what happened. What's the clickbait title of this YouTube video that we're making? Uh, clickbait everyone title? Got, oh crap, we need to be, we need to be clickbait. <laughs> the one where everyone got rear-ended. As the hotel is hit from hit from behind by a massive tractor. That was a helicopter. No, that wasn't the that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the hotel. That was the that was the farm. Little baby man crashes. Little baby man's the murderer. Oh my god! Little baby man. It's been, it's been little it. baby man all along. It's been little baby. Man. It's For a context. Morphic tractor. <laughs> For context, Little Baby Man is an anthropomorphic tractor. Yep, that's that, that's it. <laughs> that's they, that's they, everything. He's a transformer. A trans. Also, he is trans, and he form into a tractor. Tra he tran and he form. Anthropomorphic trans. Anthropomorphic. Trans anthropomorphic. He's a theater kid. Oh God. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a theater kid. Get away with that. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm a theater kid. Say wait, that begs the question, is was Little Baby Man directed by Michael Bay or not? No, Little Baby was. Little Baby Man is the one that was made a few years later, directed by uh As long as as long as Little Baby Man wasn't directed by Michael Bay, we're fine. Is there is there is there a big baby man? <laughs> is there a big baby man? Yeah, and you'll see it when the hunt two comes out. The biggest thing since chess two. <laughs> the biggest thing since chess two. All right, where we left off from last episode, we said goodbye to Phil. Phil. Yes, Phil. You remember the the murder victim? There's a hole in our hearts that needs to be. Phil. Casey, I'm giving you a disadvantage on your next roll. <laughs> that was rude. Roll survival check for me. Okay. See how long you stay alive. <laughs> oh, oh boy. The most cursed mountains of murder intro. <laughs> Casey's not going to borrow time. Let's see this. Let's see how you well you do. It's disadvantage, my friend. Oh, shit. Ow. You live for now. All right. As everything takes to place from last episode, we have people beginning to gather on the first floor and a guard move up to the fourth. Once again, people are starting to be gathered from their rooms as hotel staff have been informed to politely ask everyone to join us in the cafeteria so everyone can sit down and have a conversation. A 
ping goes up to your uh, little ringer, Gavin. All right, so uh, a frazzled uh, Gavin exits his uh, room with a bundle of uh, of dirty linens, his hair normally tied up with his ears, messily um, tossed over. He stops by a laundry room, tossing the uh, stuff with the rest of the stuff with the rest of the uh, laundry before before starting on his given task. Before you get the chance to turn around, uh, you feel a grab at like your belt as you see an angry zat as you just throw something into a room. I'm I'm so sorry. I just need to get back to work. I know you need to get to work. But you can put things where they belong. Yes, ma'am. One second. And I I do it properly. Thank you. Of course, it won't happen again. I mean, I won't do it wrong again. Let me let me make Sorry. a check real quick. What? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. Roll me perception. Not that it matters. Don't worry about it. Yeah, nothing happened. I feel like something did. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. As you make your way to do the tasks you were previously required of. That has your full attention as you begin to start gathering people from the first floor. All right, if you wouldn't mind, just right this way. It shouldn't be too long. I'm sorry about this. As you get to room 102, the door opens and you see um, a red panda answer the door. Previously in bandages, but now Without. 102 is my room. 104. Okay. Do you need something? Um, sorry, we're just having everyone gather in the main hall. Um, I... Right now, uh, the firefighter Bortz Harkins, he is currently, uh... He wasn't feeling well, so he had to take a rest on my bed. All right, well, I, I'm going to be straight with you. I don't know how important this is, but I'm going to just say that I told you to go, and I didn't see if you left or not. Cool. All right, so I just move on to the next room. Uh, as you get as you get to the next room, room uh, 106, you see Wonder and Susan Blackstone in the room. Do you disturb them? The door isn't shut. I rap on the door uh, gently. The door's open. I know, but I knock on the open doors. Uh, hello? Is you see, like, Wonder look been... up from, like, being asleep. Hello? Sorry, I've just been, uh, tasked with, um, gathering everyone in the main hall. I got the notice, too. All right, Be right there. as long as you're notified. And she, like, stretches her arms out. As you make your way to the rest of the rooms. As much as you want to continue this, you can. If you don't, then I'll go on to the next person. I eventually tie my hair up in between rooms. Of course. Uh, room 108, you knock and you assume that they wouldn't be in there. Um, mm -hmm. Room 108. 108. Because it's one of the chefs. You would know that. And it's time for people to meet in the 
food area. All right, I knock on the door just the same as others. Uh, uh, you feel something on your feet. I look down. You see a piece of paper. What? You see a blue piece of paper. I try to subtly pick it up. Uh, you pick it up. No one notices you because no one's really paying much attention to you. People are either heading towards the cafeteria or heading other way. I assume it's a note. Scan yep. both sides of it. Uh, it, it, on the front, it's folded in with like each of the four corners and a sticker that says uh, "fuck you" on it, and Very a paw print. I move on. I'm not too concerned. Right. Next one, one ten. Anything you're doing, Hello? or just? Nope, just same as normal, uh, letting people know that they should go there. I'm not trying to manhandle anyone. Uh, the door opens, and you see a the black tabby once again, towel wrapped around them, hair in a, a second towel. They're like, can I help you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, we're just having everyone gather in the main hall. No rush, though. Do I have time to get dressed? I just said no rush. We, I but still, when you say no rush, it makes me feel like there's a rush. I need to. Do I need to get ready now? I assume we'd want you clothed. Well, I understand that I should need to be clothed. And you notice? Give me another perception check. Actually, let's see if you notice this this time. The more he gets stressed out, the more the, the fur on his chest glows. This is no light reflection. He's glowing. No, for real. Take your time. Is it your time or is it my time? Is it everyone's time? Because we're keeping people waiting. I don't want to keep people waiting. Everyone in the hotel is gathering in the... Gathering in the... Everyone? And he Sorry. slams the door. <laughs> and he shouts like, I'm getting ready! <laughs> Take your time, not not mine. Continuing down the hall. Mm -hmm. Don't know why this is so funny to me. Sorry. Uh, next door, you knock a few times, but there's no response at all. I knock again, and if there's still no response, I uh, I open the door and. How? Hmm? How? I use my keycard. What keycard? I got it back. From? You said that I got it back in between meeting with um Leonard. Well, you feel for your pocket and it's not there. <sighs> Who did I leave it with? You also notice that your pants feel a little ill-fitting. I sprint back to my, sprint back to um my room and knock. Hello. I, C can you just let me in, please? What's the password? The door opens. Banana split. I just gestured down at what I assume are Leonard's slacks. I was looking for those. I was looking for those. I gestured mine. Well, I didn't touch them. And uh, once the second door is closed again, I am changing into my actual uniform. Do you do that? Head back to 112? My key card's in my pocket? As far as, mu as much as you noticed. All right, well, um, I open the door to, uh, 112. Uh, you see a room 
uh, vacant as you search around. Nothing right, well, too odd. There, to... No one to notif no, no bodies. No notify. Sorry, what were you saying? No bodies in there. All right. Well, then I move on to the next room. No one's there. No, no one to notify. Uh, next room. One second. My brain is off. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I forgot who someone was. Don't mind me. As you make it to the next room, uh, you hear nothing as you knock. Hello, housekeeping. I knock a second time, and if there's still no answer, I follow the um, follow suit with last room. Uh, you see a you see a Dalmatian sleeping. Like the ringer is going off by the bed. I shut the door and knock, trying to be really loud. You hear the ringer turn off and no other movement. We're asking all guests and staff to meet in the front front lobby. I'm asking you to leave me alone. Your request is recorded. I move on. I'm not too uh, concerned. Next room? Indeed. Uh, you knock once and the door opens before you can knock like the second like in your pattern of like knock 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 or you knock Hello, the second are... time uh, a possum runs out from beside you almost knocking you are... off your feet wait so that was the only person in the room the possum yeah he, he seems a little young hello gotta go <laughs> Yeah, we're asking everyone to meet in the asking everyone to meet in the main lobby, please. He's not listening. He already ran off to the cafeteria. All right, I make sure that I make sure their door shuts and I finish with the first floor. Uh you knock on the door and no one's there. Which number am I knocking on? You're knocking on 118 now. The last um, room in the hall. Do my normal routine of knocking twice, then letting myself in. Nothing stands up, no bodies. All right, I once I'm finished with every uh, with uh, every person that you know at least listens to me, I I uh, head back to my room. Let. Um, let her know he probably isn't an exception, and head to the main lobby myself. Uh, as as everyone on the first floor is in the main lobby, everyone on every other floor is in the cafeteria. Okay, I misspoke. That makes more sense. <laughs> One of them speak up as they all head towards the uh, main lobby or the cafeteria. You got me. You got me thrown off now. Everyone, please. All right, now that I have you all here, everyone, please single file to the cafeteria. That is where the. That is where it will be happening. Uh, you see, running out of his room, a tabby cat in like a blue tuxedo, blue tie, running out. I am so sorry. Where's everyone? <laughs> I don't know why this is so um, funny to me. I'm trying to keep myself serious. <laughs> cafeteria. Oh, sorry. And he, he, like, walks over, like, tail down, walking towards you. I will uh, take the next elevator up, because I, I don't want to be in an elevator absolutely full of people. No, I just take the staff elevator. 
uh, you assume that every, you like each housekeeper has their own floor to do. So your job was the first floor, and everyone else, like everyone, on the second floor has second floor, third, and so on. All right. Well, wait. You said the cafeteria was on the second floor. No, it's on the first. The cafeteria has always been on the first floor. There's other like snack then things on the other cafeteria. floor. There's concessions on the second and third floor, with like unlimited, uh, unlimited nachos, which I honestly think is the best thing ever to have in a hotel. Right. Well, I head into the cafeteria to see what what we were supposed to meet up for. Honestly, I didn't even read the notification. Um, would anyone not be there that's in this call before I bring on some news? We'll say Time Sleek is there and Quartz Harking is not there. Uh, Rowan is there. Casey, are you heading to the cafeteria? Beetle would say, well, if you're not coming with, I'm going to leave you here. And I have to turn off the lights when I leave. You want to be in the dark entertainment studio? You want to come with me? Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, lover boy. No longer existent pocket. He, uh, she's holding out like one of her hands to you. Like, come on. He just walks up next to her. She grabs your hand and walks towards the elevator. He pays it absolutely zero attention, but keeping focus on the floor. Uh, Gillamy. Are you heading downstairs? Indeed I am. Indeed I am. What floor were you on, were you on previously? Just so I know who is approaching you. Oh, goodness. Uh, how did I end the episode last time? It's been two weeks. I think you were heading to your room, maybe. Alright, let's just assume I was on fours. Four. You're on the fourth floor? Yes. Alright, um... You see two strangely identical raccoons each approach you. One of them is like, you need to come with us. You need to come with us. The other one pipes up, like, right after. I finally understood. This is an Animal Crossing reference. Oh my god, it could have been. This is Timmy and Tommy. I wish I had written it like Timmy and Tommy! Oh my god. I didn't make that connection in my head. <laughs> I thought I finally understood the joke, and turns out I made a joke that even you did not foresee. Love it! Love it. Timmy and Tommy. All right, so Leah and Le Le Leah and Liam. Uh. Uh, Leah notices that room four hundred is open, and just kind of like heads away, and Liam's like, "I don't usually speak first. Uh, so uh. Why are you guys both here? Uh, initially, anyway. We work up here. And the message rate thing said, have everyone go to the cafeteria. There's a message that Madam Blackstone wants to give. Thank you. Um, do you like working here with your twin? I usually just follow her lead, and now she's gone. 
Well, she she'll be back soon. It's not like she's like his eyes start to go wide. It's not like she's dead or anything. She'll be back eventually, maybe. She'll be back within a minute. It's okay. Or I mean, we're all dead. heading to the same place in the very end of the day. He just quietly nods as you see uh, Leah, like, pulling time sleek, who has once again fallen asleep out of room 400. Just... Liam! Coming! And they both start dragging, <laughs> dragging time by, like, the, like, shoulders underneath the arms, like, dragging time. You know, we don't pick guests up. You remember why? No? Because if we drag them, they can't, it's less chance of them getting injured. Oh, I see. And they just continue dragging time into the elevator. And uh, Leah has a, are you coming? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Don't worry. Don't worry about the staff elevator. It It's a little bit faster, but you get used to it. Okay. I'll just follow them. It's about like twice the speed of the other elevator. So, uh, what do you guys work on in this resort. I can only see you up here. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. And do you know anything about what's going on? Not really. A little bit. What? Not really. It's just the comedic, like, slow look that both of them do to Liam, and they're like, um, that could be helpful information you have. Madam Blackstone asked that I not share the information. <laughs> Sorry, just the stupidest thought came in my head. Why does... Madame Blackstone not want you to share it. Because I mean, she's playing I mean, a game that's very important to her. Okay. Liam, in this very same game, I am tasked with being the murderer. And unfortunately, now there's situations. But... I'm the investigator! I'm supposed to pick you! And then you lose. That's crazy. A fun fact, I've already lost, but we'll learn about that in oh. the meeting, I'm almost certain. Okay. You say nothing. What? Say nothing. Miss Blackstone Liam, wants the guests to win. But Madam Blackstone said Miss Blackstone wants the guest to win. Say Nothing. Just a look of intensity over Leah, Leah's face that you've never seen before. As she's forced her twin. In this game. I didn't have a role. You didn't have a role. Alright. So. Neither does Liam. And Liam just nods. All right. All right then. So, let's just continue on then. The elevator doors open. All right, and they start pulling time once again. Uh. Snowy, you're on the f you're go ahead into the cafeteria. I'm assuming. No. 
You're just leaving, letting Rose be alone? I don't know the rules. <laughs> what do you think Miss Blackstone is giving the message? Let's go, Rose. You're trying to take her out of the cafeteria? Because she's already there. Well, she's going to go there first. You're going to try and leave with her? Not I'll let the students get done, and then I'm taking Rose that particular way. Come on. Simple. Let the meeting be done, and then you're taking her away? Exactly. Sir, do you remember that she is armed, right? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. All right, <laughs> everyone's in the cafeteria. Armed. What do you mean? We're both harmed. Like what? Uh, you see, majority of the hotel staff and guests gather in the cafeteria. You see two chefs working frantically to get things made up for this afternoon's lunch. And I'll say this immediately. That you notice that um, Rose is fiddling with her ring on her finger. Those of you that can see her. Just immediate notice of like waiting for people to show up. Well, she's gotta take her out. <laughs> Be five oh fum in this four. I'm on now. Okay. Rose aims the gun up Snowy. Hey, give me that shit. <laughs> give me that shit. All right, this looks like it's going to be everyone that's showing up. All right. I'm going to be very flat with you all. No more stories. No more games. No nothing. This has to end. This is too confusing having all this happen. So I'm going to come out front and ask this. Can we end this murder mystery game? Can we just let the murderer win the game so we can actually solve the murder? You hear like discussions start rising up of like game, game like from a guest like all confused or like what's going on the staff is like is she crazy what about what about what if sarah finds out a bunch of like hushed in conversation and then a hand goes up yes you have something to say um i'm in favor Anyone else? Gavin raises his hand. Uh, Rose looks directly to you and just gives like a th very thankful nod. A few other hands start going up. <laughs> so immediately after the vote in favor. <laughs> oh, welcome back. <laughs> it's so funny how you always show up when there's a vote. No, nah, don't. And then you don't vote. Well. Scorchers like never here. Don't don't work with Scorch back. Scorch isn't here. Oh, the Scorch is gone. I'm here now. No, Scorch is not here. Yeah, Scorch isn't here. Oh, bye. What? What? No. What? Bye, Scorch. <laughs> After a bit of a time, a few more hands go up. There's some that. 
kind of are hesitant. And those opposed letting this game continue and muddle the minds while there's something more important happening. Uh, you see Dante raise his hand in the kitchen and then grab uh, Charles' hands and raise, his, raise it up. Gavin glares at them. Hmm? Gavin glares at them. Dante stares at you. Dante's probably so fucking stoned right now, bro. Dante probably don't even know what's happening. He's just Kevin raising his hand for fun. First. Huh? What do you say? Gavin doesn't blink first. Dante, after an antagonizing 30 seconds, blinks. Then puts his hand down. Uh, Charles has not blinked yet and is staring at you. Charles will win. Gavin ain't a bitch. Gavin <laughs> keeps staring. We're gonna have a contested roll. Yes. D100. You ready? Howard. Yeet. Yeah. 23. <laughs> Shit. Charles blinks, and then, like, pulls his hand away from Dante and puts it down. Gavin turns away before blinking. Gavin remembers that when he blinks, he can, like, he can blink without closing his eyes. But I'm also sweating. That's what the 1% is. The 1% is reptile. He just blinks with clear eyelids. Always wins staring contests. Like, there's, like, the vertical, and then there's, like, the horizontal eyelids. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. Like, slowly blinks all lids, like, one at a time. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. Like, clear, clear, solid, solid. Solid, solid, clear, clear. <laughs> the muscles in your face that would have to do that. Slowly blinks horizontally and vertically at the same time. Closing your eyes like a crosshair. Like the beginning of a Snouthauser movie. Exactly like that. Anyway. uh, <laughs> Alright. Those in favor. And those opposed. Seem to be drastically different. So. We're ending this murder mystery game. I'm calling the authorities, and there will be doctors here momentarily. And if you hear anything from Sarah Blackstone while she is not in this building, she is not an authority here. Really shut out her wife. Actually, wild. Phone rings. What is phone rings? It's not my phone. I don't have a phone. I'm con. Hello, I'm the problem. It's me. Arby, are you calling someone, or is he saying that Rose is calling someone? Yeah, I was calling the police, no? Nah. That was a joke to just say that, like, immediately after saying that Sarah isn't an authority, the phone just starts ringing. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Once this uh, whole, like, meeting thing is done, can I pull Rose aside? You can beat Snowy to it! Or wait in line. Well, I'm, I'm snagging Rose and take, going to a different floor. So... Well then, I need to talk to Rose first. I don't. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Once the meeting's done, though. Sure. All right. Time for what's actually happening. For those of you that may not know, 
And the reason why I'm ending this game, despite my wife's uh, adamant disapproval, there have been three attempts at life in this hotel, one of which have succeeded. Phil Interplank is dead. Casey Michaels was viciously attacked. And my sister-in-law is now in a state of which I would hardly say is worth living. The only clue that we currently have, as far as I'm aware, is that this is happening in the dead of night. So everyone, keep your doors locked. Make sure that you're never alone with someone you don't trust. And most importantly, if you see something, say something. This concludes the meeting. And, uh, Rose first is going to look towards you, Quinn, and Gavin, and be like, how did you get the chefs to lower their hand? I... I think they respect me a bit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Can I talk to you? Of course. Does it need to be private? You... A private is a good word for it. Do you realize what you just did? Mostly. Do you realize the danger this puts you in? I'm quite aware. You took his... You took their only cover. They're going to... Whoever this is is going to be pissed. Or it's going to stop. Do you have a weapon? Uh, she pulls, like, the side of her coat. And you see in her vest, like, a revolver. Hammer pulled. Where are you sleeping tonight? I'm not disclosing that information to anyone. You need so you need someone watching over you. I have someone watching over me. And if I need other dis to disclose any other information, you are not high on that list. I'm just expressing concern. If you've already thought about this, I don't know why. I should have. Gavin? You know what you're doing. Remain on the first floor. Watch over the doors. Make sure no one goes up the elevator past 10 p.m. Yes, ma'am. She uh, rebuttons her coat. She holds out an elbow. And very quickly afterwards, it's taken by a snow leopard. Sorry, but I'm fine. All right, Pretty. so the um, the normal guard is watching the doors right now, right? Uh, no one is currently standing by the doors. You see, uh, Nikolai and Logan sharing a cup of coffee with each other. All right. Well, while Logan is, you know, still on duty. I'm going to have Gavin take a nap. That way he can he can overnight the elevator thing. Understood. Good night. Or buy a bunch of energy drinks. Both, actually. Both. Yeah, there's like some... There's like a vending machine upstairs. I, I head upstairs and buy like five. Buy five? You gonna make a survival check, my friend? 
You know, you'll make him a survival check. You'll make a survival check when you drink. Have you had the energy drink before? Gavin, yeah, Gavin works, does this stuff for a living. Mm hmm I mean, also, full all -nighters. mind you, um, there's different energy drinks for different beasts, so you need to make sure you grab the one that's uh, for you. Like, an example being, like, for felines and ursulids and beasts that are more, um, I don't know what I was trying to say. Like, I don't know what fe like, good. felines, ursulids, servines, they have a specific type of energy drink because their heart, like, regulates it differently. Insects don't have energy drinks. Like, tea is the most they'll ever have. And you're not sure why, unless you want to roll history. Their tea tastes delicious, that's all I know. Cheers to that. Cheers, bro, I'll drink to that sips tea. <laughs> okay, so I buy the three riled energy up. drinks and two insectoid, insectoid Arizona teas. <laughs> like it's a it's a stick bug instead of a cherry blossom. Gilamine takes the littlest sip of tea and he is wired, dude. <laughs> oh, you're sipping tea. Roll me a D one hundred. Oh no. I roll a nat one and Don't die instantaneous. Wrong. Oh no, I have heart issues. You're right. <laughs> Roll the D100. Roll the D100, Gillamine. Arvy. Commonly have. Doctor Arvy. Um, roll a D100. If you match, he dies. I start to have a rhythm. Oh my god. <laughs> that was way too close. That was not okay. No. What do you mean that wasn't okay? You said you want to be rear-ended by the hotel. A little sippy, and now I'm feeling pretty okay now. I voted for direction. Well, you voted for cringe, so you're cringe. Oh, yeah, Rowan. Um, roll my perception. You see a little four-inch tall tiger. Um, where is this tiger located? Uh, on your shoe. Like, pulling at your, like, cuff. But it's not moving, but you, you see the effort they're making. I lower a paw down to allow the tiger to hop on. Uh, upon closer inspection, you notice that there's a piece of the fur missing on the lower lip. That appears to be like either like a surgical or defect or burn. As they are like, as you pick them up, they grab it, your your sleeve cuff and start pulling. I mean, given that the whole announcement is over, I will head in the direction where the tiger pulls me. Uh, they are leading you to room 106. The door is locked. Um, I set the med I set the personal med kit down and knock on the door. No response. Knock again. Silence. Um, I guess I could try to find Gavin. Uh, you see Gavin, like, leaving the elevator with five drinks in hand. Like, tucking something back into his pocket. About to crack, about to crack one open. Uh, hey, Gavin, do you know if Wonder is still in room 106 with Susan? 
know if who's in room of six? Uh, Wonder. Um, who was there when I knocked? Uh, Wonder was there, but she got up and you saw her in the uh, cafeteria. Um, well, they went to the meeting, so I'm not sure if they went back or left. Um, we're supposed to be taking turns watching over Susan's to just, like, provide general life support for Susan and the door's locked right now. This is the last time I'm going to open random doors for you. Let's go. Uh, the door opens, and you see, uh, lying there, breathless, the body of Susan Blackstone. The cans fall out of Gavin's arms. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was she was in a coma since that ever since that first day. Uh, you see the tiger once again pulling towards you. Begin to fade from your sight, then come back. Still pulling. I will like kind of um I will like move as if I am assessing to just to just like check if there's still a pulse, but it's still in the direction of where the tiger is pulling me. Uh you see the tiger stands on her own nose. And, like, opens her mouth. So... Um, oops, sorry. So... Did she... Give in to her coma, or was she murdered? Well, did someone put a finger on the scale is what I mean. Uh, Gavin, do, do, do you know where the closest AED is? Okay. AED? You would know that yeah. there is uh, one every three rooms in the first floor. I grab it as quick as I can. You you either have to burst into Rowan's room or the the one, like the one gray cat, or the possums, or the snakes. Your choice. Closest one is uh, Rowan's. I pound on Rowan's door. Ro Rowan is beside you. Oh, I'm an idiot. I will go grab. I'll go get it then. Uh, you grab it, pull it off the wall. A uh, siren starts playing of like a high pitch, like. I tone it out, and these normally have uh, I want to say instruction manuals, but um, normally have uh. They're easy to use for a reason, and I, I, tr I start to try it. Yeah, I, I will start doing chest compressions. Call me medicine. Oh, Gavin rolled medicine. 
19 from Gavin. I crit. You crit. Uh, something like flashes in your mind for just a moment, like when she's pulling it open her mouth, it's like she's scratching at her throat, and you see just a moment as the mouth is like left just slightly open, you see a glove. As you pull that out with one hand, continue the compressions, you just hear that the. <gasps> And the little spirit looks at you, puts its hands on your nose as it fades from your sight. Bo's pulling out main character energy over here. You're breathing again, bro. Who the hell did that? I... Gavin. Perception check, please. Ooh, Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. What you notice is that there's now two pink paw prints on Rowan's nose. Like, tiny, the tiniest thing. But it's like, this, that, this wasn't there before. You've seen Rowan before. But now there's two less than a quarter inch paw prints on either side of its no on either side of his nose. Would you have time to get a tattoo? A fine tattoo? What? Define. What do you mean? I poke their nose. <laughs> Just boop. <laughs> yeah, you got a nose. That's a weird tattoo. I don't have one. <laughs> the paw prints. Oh, I don't know what that is, but... We did find out earlier that we we did find out earlier that the killer was using gloves and has blackish or dark to, dark gray fur. Yeah, I was there. I saw the fur. Gloves, however, that's new. Yeah, we we suspect that after attacking Bill, that they had gone through um, all of Bill's cosmetics cosmetic equipment and likely had used them. We're so stupid. We all gathered in the same space. Of course something was going to happen. Yeah, even I saw through that. And I, I'm I'm Malibu. Like, um, as you... You're not here! As you guys are chatting, you see Wonder walk up like rubbing her eyes, like, hello. Oh, the door's open. Hello. Um. Well, they see me with an AED in my hand. Hooves. Okay. Oh, you're taking over, Rowan. What's that on your hand? Did you... Hmm. Did Did you leave? Uh, what What time have you, you left? What times have you left, uh, Susan, today and yesterday? I haven't left the room. You were taking a nap? No, I... I... I don't think so. I... Um... I thought I was awake. Well, um, although that doesn't really narrow thing narrow things down, at some point somebody shoved a glove down Susan's throat. Oh, what? Impossible! No one could have. 
Someone did come in here. But they just brought me food. While watching... Susan. Some, someone that works here? Um... I think... Did this person have any dark gray or black fur in their around their arms? No, he had white paws. So he wasn't wearing gloves? No, when he brought me food and coffee. Coffee? Yeah. It's all on the table. I Can I try to see if there's anything off, off about this coffee? The smell, the... Not the taste, because I'm not going to try drinking it. Roll me... Either. I'm trying to figure out... Investigation? Arcana? Or... Perception? I will provide the help action for whatever skill you choose. So either you can roll with advantage, or you can use uh, Arby's stat as additional. That's how I'm going to claim wisdom. text the help action. So he can so get Quinn can add Rowan's investigation stat plus to it, or roll advantage. That's how I'm doing it from now on. I think that's really cool. Um, you should do advantage because that's a plus one. Advantage time. Come grab your friends. It's going to be murder time. It's going to be? I thought it already was. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Don't worry, Malibu. You're next. Did you forget Thank the advantage? God. I was wondering. Also, Malibu, can you respond to my DM? You little rat. That's a 17. 17? At first this glance. My investigation. Uh. You're not really familiar with, like, canine coffee. You've had, like, goat, deer, servine, and stuff. But it smells odd. There's no, like, milky smell to it, but there is a change in color. I need you to tell me everything about this person that gave you the coffee. Okay. Um. He had like a sharp pointed face he had white paws he was wearing like a t-shirt that says uh who the fox are you so he wasn't wearing one of our smocks no and he brought it to me shortly after i started working on watching her how long have i been asleep Long enough. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure whether I want to dump out that coffee because I'm pretty sure it's spiked or spiked. Keep it. Look at it. it oh, you don't like... mess with someone's coffee. You're more concerned about the coffee than... That's disrespectful. Oh my so goodness. So murder Who? isn't, obviously. Well, I was about to respond to you like you're in the room. <laughs> she has an exact response for that. Attempted murder isn't disrespectful? Well, at least you'd be dead as opposed to drinking bad coffee. I mean, it did do the opposite of what coffee normally does, so... With that off-topic! <laughs> Gavin really went fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> fair enough! I, I think that if the murderer had poisoned and killed you, they would kind of... That would kind of hurt their alibi. 
but we cannot say anything for sure at this moment. Do you think that they're trying to spray me? Um. She brings her paw to her mouth and just like. Me? What have I done? I said frame. I'm. I'm not I don't think you have anything. any enemies. You don't. He doesn't need an enemy. He needs a scapegoat. Well, you're a excuse goat. Excuse the, excuse the language. I'm, no problem. Take him. You said they had black fur. Black and gray. The person, noticed... like, the person that gave me the coffee didn't have any dark colored fur at all. They were all white. Their eyes are like Compass? pink. That, 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 that's Phil. He's dead. What? The, the, the person that killed the Phil were, was also using gloves, but in those gloves, there was black or gray, dark grayish fur. Phil gave me bad coffee? Seriously, this is what you're hung up on. Well, I guess we can't figure out where we where he got it from. You can ask him. Oh, right, he's dead. Damn. Okay. All right. Be. Mm. Mm. Gonna go to my room now. If you need a break, Rowan, let me know. Here, um, I'll give you my key. I'm gonna get one other one from Shelley. Uh, she takes her room key out of her pocket and hands it to you, Rowan. How long do you think we have till he figures out his? He figures out if he failed twice. Well, I don't know, but given that. I think I have to stay with Susan for now. I'm gonna wa I'm going to watch the elevators all night tonight. I need to either rest up or I start gathering the cans that fell. You notice that one of them split open. Oh, god damn it. I like that tea. <laughs> it's it's one, one of the, the it, it was one of the teas. I Clean it up as best I can. Not too difficult. Um, um, I'm going to take a quick break. So take this moment to relax, restroom, whatever you need. We're going to start back up in like five minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording. You ever thank you, five. You're welcome, five. Woo.
all I know is that. everything's back to live. Welcome back to Mountains of Murder, episode You're five. Back. You're not welcome. Specifically, okay. you. You right there in the purple shirt and glasses. You're not welcome. Damn, Malibu, you got called out real quick. <laughs> Damn. My guy didn't even get to sip his coffee yet. He got caught out real quick. <laughs> Where did we leave off? Right there. Right there. I agree. Here, actually. Um, or over there. Where? Snowy, that's a great that question. That is a great question. That I will let you ask if you figure out their gloves to a question. C, 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 C. I'm about to roll a D1000 because of you. Try it. Do it. Okay, I will try it. I will try it, Tursen. Get a one. <laughs> Shut up, Scorch. <laughs> Go back to not being active. <laughs> you were better than Okay, damn. That, 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 that <laughs> wow. Was Go back there. Go for the jugular. Like, go back to being inactive for a whole month, bro. <laughs> Let I never me roll did that. my roll without giving me bad luck. Holy man. Scorch says God. one thing before me. Even in Cats of Grey River, Scorch can speak before I roll, and it's so unlucky. <laughs> I blame Scorch. I always I am, blame Scorch. I am a nuisance. If I become a murderer <laughs> in one of these games, I'm killing Scorch. Deal. Okay, bet. Prime time deal. Gonna be gutted. No, I disagree. Fish hooked. Gonna be you're gonna get the day, dead by daylight special scorched. Memento Mori. Dead by Orange daylight. Cool. Scorch. Well, I'm gonna watch generators. Anyway, gonna back to the room that so we left off with Rowan and Gavin in Wonder. And and Susan and Susan. And any other people from this group that would be reasonably there can join in. No. Uh, can I get like a? I think I'm in the I'm in the cafeteria. Hmm? Can I get one of those reusable thermoses from the um, from the uh, from the uh, cabinets? Uh, yeah. There's some like mason jars. I put the coffee in that. Uh, you hear who like sounds as you pour it. Hmm. Like as you that pour it, you hear a couple. Like, I don't describe the sound of it, like Bonk. dropping something in water. The bloop. Yeah. But that sound hitting the bottom of glass. So it ding. Blink. Yeah. Yeah, that blink and slink. A little dinky dink. Is the thermos clear? Yeah. The mason jar is clear. Was it iced coffee? What? No, I don't drink iced coffee. Who drinks what kind of feline drinks iced coffee? I'm gonna go I know these kitchen by like the back of my hand because I work here. I'm gonna grab a strainer and strain the coffee into the um and back into the mug. What are you doing to my coffee? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Mm, yes, okay. drugs. What are you doing to the coffee? Drugging it. I, Pour. <laughs> I strain the. I strain the coffee into the mug. Um, in this in the strainer itself, you see a little plastic tube, no larger than like like the end of your hoof. That's broken in half. I was right. I hate it when I'm right. I hate it when you're right too. What do you write about? Thank God you're not right right now. You were spiked. I don't even play volleyball. No, spiked. <laughs> Drugged. I think I haven't done drugs in three years. That's crazy. Just proud of you. 
Someone put a sedative in your coffee. Phil. Someone put night night. I'm gonna kill him. Coffee. They wanted you <laughs> about that. They wanted oh, you out right. of the way. He's so dead. You... They wanted you out of the way so they could finish her off. But why didn't they kill you? Because they, they like me. Do you know anyone? Anyone that would do this? I mean, Honey's had a crush on me since we st I started working here. And you think Honey would murder two people? Attempt to murder three people? Three. Honey does hate it here. I hate it here. Everyone hates- well, no, I don't hate it here. The benefits are really good, but... Disliking your job is not motive enough to try to kill people. Sure. You'd be surprised. <laughs> and also, who would Great hate this job? God. Employee breakfast has 500 layer croissants. Have you ever had a 500 layer croissant? Yo, actually, what? though. N no? There's butter in between every layer. So much butter. It feels like you're drinking it. It is Ew. decadent. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna knock it till I try it with coffee. Anyway, can I have my coffee back? No, I'm, it's it's drugged. Never knock it till you try it. I'm gonna go get coffee from Pick then, myself. Okay, and she like okay. turns and walks away. I pocket the evidence. Do you show Rowan? I thought Rowan was watching the whole time. You went to the kitchen. Rowan, get in here. I, I'm I'm in the room with Susan because somebody has to watch over her. You are. It's the same room, but it's just a different part of the room. Look at this. I show the um capsule. This was in the coffee. Oh, I, we we got that down, but we don't know whether it was initially drugged or if it's. Well, I guess given the fact that the capsule is still there, potentially implies that it was recent. Do you think it's water soluble? I cannot say for sure. They don't know how long they were out, so we don't know. A good timeline, but we know it was before, you know. I believe Finn is an unwilling, not unwilling, unknowing part in this. Um, you said Phil, right? Phil is what I meant. I, I don't think Phil knowingly gave her spiked coffee. I highly doubt that as well, knowing Phil. Is this the cafeteria's type of mug and breakfast? Yes. It's all it's like a cafeteria only. Like that that red mug and the plate with like the adorn. Yeah. Um be sure to notify to notify trusted members about the attempt on Susan's life. The second one. Logan is the security guard, right? Um, neither of that door. They're still talking to each other. There's Wait, what? There's two security guards. There's Logan and there's Nikolai. Yeah, but Logan. Okay, so they're both Wait, currently in the cafeteria. On? Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave Rowan with. Um, I'm gonna put the uh thing in a plastic bag. Hmm. And then leave to go find Logan first. Uh, sitting at a table across from each other, you see they are engaged in an arm wrestle. It looks like Nikolai has the upper hand. A moment, boys. What? And Logan slams Nikolai's hand down. Yes! <laughs> what? 
there was another attempt on someone's life. What? Huh? While we were all gathered. You hear like a we bit of gathered, chattering around in the rest of the cafeteria. I'm trying to be, I'm discreetly saying this, I'm not just yelling it. Stealth check. Be a stealthy boy. Be a stealthy boy. Why didn't that work? Why does it hate you? <laughs> Roll again. Because it hates me. You have advantage on stealth, remember? The conversation isn't about you. It's it's about, like, like the chefs and stuff. You don't know anyone listening to you specifically. Because no one beat a 23. Hey. Nikolai isn't even paying much attention. As he's, like, grieving his loss. He said he wanted to talk to Logan, right? Honestly, both. I like Logan a bit more, but they both seem competent. Well, as competent as you can be with Four murder attempts. Okay. So they both like are listening in. There's another attempt on someone's life. Logan's well, face. While we were all gathered, someone <laughs> tried to suffocate. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. Uh, Susan. Someone tried to suffocate Susan while we were all gathered in the cafeteria. What? Who was watching her? Again, terrible. Supposed to be one of the doctor. The doctor wonder, wasn't it? Yeah, um, about that, I shut the capsule. Someone added a little extra to her coffee. What is that? As far as I can tell, some sort of sedative. All right. So, someone sedated the doctor to keep them from noticing? Someone sneaking in and hitting her? This doesn't make any That's sense. The... It's the long and short of it, as far as I know. And get this, the coffee was delivered by Finn. Phil. Shit. Phil? Apparently, I, was... I don't know how long I don't know how long the doctor was asleep. Wait, Dr. Pytel or Dr. Postep? Postep hasn't finished no, their the... degree. No, the I'm terrible with names. Wonder. Wonder Pasta is a, uh, is a doctor in training. Pasta. All right. So Doctor Pasta was sedated, and then someone else came in. We have two murderers on our hands. No. Clearly, someone was able to insert the sedative into the coffee to a point where it would have opened up after it was delivered. Does that capsule dissolve? As far as I can tell, no. She is... is it broken or is it... it was... Let me see it. And he like goes to grab from your hand. I uh, sort of like flick the bag back, um, but you know, let him see it. So, like, it looks like it snapped in half rather than dissolved. Or right? had, like, a water-soluble dissolving band. I'm gonna Who would go have that? Oh, that. 
Good thought. I'll make sure no one else knows about this. Until it's important. While you do that, would you mind uh, accompanying me? Sure. Wait, do I go too? No, you stay here. Okay. I just would rather not be outnumbered. Can I go with? Logan looks at Nikolai, then at you. Slowly starts shaking his head like, please, no. We don't need more than two. Uh -oh. And he, like, reaches over for Logan's plate and starts eating off of his. Um, I enter the uh, kitchen, uh, put on gloves like, like we're cold, and uh, try to casually... Uh, Approach the um, chefs. Uh, Dante doesn't notice you for the bit, first bit, and Charles like, uh, George and Lewis, how can I help you? Sure. Um, when? What time do you guys serve coffee? Uh, throughout the morning until four o'clock. All right. And... Right, I know. And if, do you do you want a coffee? I can pour you one. I'm good, thanks. I would just like to know. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to word this. Uh, Logan is like watching the like keeps turning around, looking through the cafeteria window, like the kitchen, the cafeteria. You know, talking about. And you only serve the proper species coffee, right? Uh, as requested. I mean, some some beasts don't like the coffee that's for their beasts, so we give them other coffee. Yeah, but you're not giving anyone heart attacks, are you? But like, I, I would not gonna give Beetle any type of coffee. I'm not an idiot. Out of character. Out of character. What um. Finn was a uh, feline, right? Phil, Phil is a is vulpine, which is a fox. Like giving a vulpine canine coffee. If a if a fox asks for dog coffee, I'll give a fox dog coffee. You're talking about Phil, aren't you? Yeah. Um. Phil got. Phil got some coffee for the good doctor. When was that? That was. Like, an hour after Susan was discovered and wandered off her to watch her. How, how did uh, they take their drugs? Uh, they asked for some... They asked for spot coffee. You know, the, the brand that's mostly advertised for, like, Having different variances of flavor. And honestly, so I think no it's the worst coffee ever. So no add-ins? I show the back. No, no add-ins. What the fuck is that? Sedative. Someone spiked it and... Dante looks at it. It looks like... I mean, I have no idea what that is. And I Dante gets back to curiously to working. I Logan, to Logan. Logan looks at you. And in back. two seconds, Dante's being held up by the scruff. Hey, hey, don't don't hurt him. Not hurting. He's a cat. You know what this is? No, I have no idea. Well, you All know right. what it looks like. I Yes, I know what it looks like. And you know what this looks like. I like point. Point to. Like, you know, the whole like situation. Like, you know what this. Like, you know, this looks incriminating. Is what ow, I mean. ow, ow, ow. Sounds like you're hurting him. 
No, he just knows how to get me to let go. And he, like, drops him from the two feet he was being held up. So, would you mind enlightening me? <sighs> Catnip. Catnip? Yes, I do catnip. No, that, that doesn't make any sense. In the tiny, that tiny container you have there, they have very fine catnip. You're supposed to put, like, maybe a, a fraction of that into a pipe. And what would happen if you took the whole container? Be surprised if you woke up in the morning. Surprise. I suppose Wonder didn't drink all of their coffee. That was... Oh, my. Uh, he Would feels like for his life? pockets. So, is this yours? No, mine is right here. And you see one that has been uh, cut. Sorry, what? You see one that has been, like, the top has been cut off. Look, I don't care how you get your high. I'm trying to stop more people from dying. Let me see the glass. I can tell like you who, where they got it from. I hand them the bag, giving a look to like Logan, like, be my muscle, please. Uh, Logan grabs the scruff again. You break it, I break you. Uh, I don't know. Dante's I, like, I need help. Gavin's not. pretty intimidating by himself, but not really. What? Dante like picks it up. Um, this is from a pharmacy. Medical? It has to be. Ow! Did you only get that. You can only get that amount of. You can only get that amount legally with a prescription. Ugh. You don't need to grab so low. Yes. I... Now we just need to know who here, who it could have been stolen from. Thank you. Now my job's on the line. Look, I... I'm not gonna say anything. But... Don't do anything... You know, you know what you're doing. Yes, I do. That's why I go outside with it. What? Thanks, Flo. Anytime. A quick glare back as he leaves the as he leaves the kitchen, taking the gloves and tossing them to the side. I'm gonna head back to uh, Rowan because I am trying to figure out what any of this means. Before we go back to Logan or Rowan, anyone else want to do something before we head back there? Because this has kind of been the Rowan and Gavin show for a little bit. How did you just read my mind? That's what I was literally thinking. just sitting here thinking. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I was like, no, you're we'll good, you're good, man. It's we'll look back to the Gavin Rowan show shortly. It's just, there's four other people here that might want to do something the funny, Gavin or just watch the Gavin Rowan Adventures. show. In the Gavin and Rowan Adventures. I mean, my scene from White, I don't care. Yeah, let me in. Me a little bit. Yeah, I could do a scene. You want to? Do you want to? What? What do you want to do? What? Where are you at? What's planned? What would I like to do? I'm in the middle 
of a cafeteria with a bunch of people. And I saw Logan leave. I didn't see who he was leaving with, but I'm not too interested in that right now. 23 and still, baby. And I'm not suffering from arrhythmia. Oh, wait, let me see. Let me, let me roll Logan stealth real quick. Let's see how well Logan stealth. Oh, yeah, he's gone. So, uh, my main plan is to... Hmm, okay. So what would be the best course of action right now? Because now the game's off. Um, you won. I... Oh, I, I do. Okay, so... um. Can I stealth check to see if I can alert Liam and not Leah? So, How flawed that be? As you look around, you see uh, Leah ordering food, and Liam kind of just sitting, like, like head in his hands, looking at a plate. All right, I walk over to him. Uh, no response. Three feel like tap on the table. Uh, hey. Mantis, how can I help you? Uh, Gillamine. Um, uh, Liam, I understood. One kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about what your side of the story is. Where have you and Leah been all this some time? I've seen you on the fourth floor very recently, going here and there, but I don't know much about either of you. Well, we are two of two of four ringlets. We recently came here, Leah and I, seeking work because our mother could no longer watch the four of us, and since we are older, not by much, we had to go and find work. And mother put her in charge. And she's taking that seriously. If it was me and any other sibling, I'd be in charge. But no! Had to be Leah that she sends with me. We do housekeeping on the fourth floor, and we video call mother and my other siblings uh, anytime we can. That, that must be so much that you're left in on top of. But the situation now, it's, it just kind of seems like one of the worst places to be right now. I'm sorry about that. Actually, when Miss Blackstone, um, the famous one. I don't, Sarah? Yes. Miss Blackstone asked me to take part in this game. And that if I won, I would be able to send a more significant amount to Mother. Well, I'm in a very similar situation. I was offered quite a pretty penny for getting away with murder. It's a phrase that is used in Terra. It's it's more patches and more bundles than you could even think of. It would Is that like the half slip from Bumble thing? Sort of, sort of. It's a similar concept. Okay. Why didn't you say half half slip? I can sometimes speak a little weird compared to other mammals. I apologize. Sorry. I forgot I didn't mean to assume. No, you're all okay. Sorry, so go me. But 
I guess Sarah really did invite people who were needing of money because then we'd keep it going no matter what. All right, so what I still have a job here. So. You know. What did I know? Well, yes, you're a, bit, you're a very nice housekeeper, but for the game, you were investigator, right? What okay. was told to you? I was told that the murderer would be coming through the fourth floor and then try and get into Madame Blackstone's room. And when we found the panther, I thought I'd found him. And then you confessed. And I was very confused. You found who? The panther. Uh, the sleepy one. The one over there. Hi. He's been asleep for pretty much this entire endeavor. Well. He's never left his room. I just assumed he was on catnip. Well, I guess it's a start. I could try talking to him. We'll see where that leads, but are you doing okay? Just worried about, about Mother. And I can't video call because Leah has the password. And she doesn't allow you to? No, I just can't remember. And she tells me, and then I forget. Because she tells me not to remember it. So... You can only sister tells you the password that she immediately... When your sleep tells you to forget. Mm -hmm. Honey, I think you're good manipulated I don't think so I put my little prods on his paws and then I go has Leah in any way during this entire endeavor, forced you to stay quiet, forced you to do something that you didn't want to do, or in any particular way for a benefit that you don't even know. Um, you're cutting out a bit. Gosh, has totally overrode horror well over your own. Darn dang it. Has Leah, in any particular way, pushed her will over yours for a cause that you don't even know? Um, I wouldn't say it's her will, but for my betterment, I think. She told me to stay quiet about the game. She explained to me while the announcement was going on that if I had spoken up and said anything that you would lose and that's not what Miss Blackstone wants. I... I... I'll talk to you later, Liam. Okay. I gotta see where time is going. As Kilamin walks away, uh, Casey, anything you want to do before going back to the Rowan and Gavin show? <laughs> I'll take the prolonged mute as a no.
It says you're, you said you're back, so. Gavin, take us up where we left off. I head back to Rowan. Uh, letting myself in without knocking. Pay the kitchen a little visit. Visit. So, what's the damage? Damage is a. Uh... Damage is a whole lot of. Sorry, just need to figure out how to phrase it. Turns out this little container, turns out this little number is used to carry catnip. I mean, that could be medicinal, it could be recreational, I... we don't know. According to the... according to one of the cooks, I won't tell you which, a whole vial of it is enough to kill a person. A beast. Kill a beast. Just correcting your terminology. We're lucky one didn't finish. Didn't finish her cup. I can't believe you misgendered an entire species. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You believe you misgendered an entire species. <laughs> and also, if that was Phil, or somebody that is trying to impersonate Phil prior to murdering Phil, they had tried to frame him for that murder. I mean, frame him for poisoning Wonder. How would... Wonder wouldn't have been alive to testify against that. Well, we don't know if anybody else had seen Phil or quote unquote Phil heading towards room 106. We don't know if we don't know if there isn't witnesses. We don't know if what she saw was Phil. Well, never mind. She had seen Phil before she had drank in the coffee. Was I not supposed to follow you? No, no, you are important to this investigation. Okay. Uh, the door opens once again. Ah, Dr. Pysold. Greetings. Am I supposed to treat him like Dante? No, um, I just... You're... I'm... Just... I'm sorry, I'm just really struggling with phrasing today. Okay. You're the security in this place, aren't you? During the daytime, I am. It just... This is all becoming so much more muddled. I thought we were getting somewhere, and now we just... Anyone that has a prescription... And it could have been stolen from them. All of this is just so frustrating. Um, is this is this Logan or Nikolai? At the it's door? Logan. Nikolai yeah. is in the cafeteria. If you're day watch, had anybody come over here? Had anybody else come to room 106 while Wonder was still in it? Are you talking about yesterday or today? I don't know. I don't know the timeline of when Wonder received the coffee. The only people I saw around the room were Phil yesterday around 11. I saw. In what time was Phil? Hmm? In what time was Phil? You know. Phil was discovered 6 a.m. today. No. Yes. So 
just happened in one day. It's crazy. I saw Honey at around two. I saw. What was Honey doing? Five. What was Honey doing? Who was that around five? Nick. What was Honey doing? Honey just stood at the door and stared for a while. Went in and then left shortly after. Tracks. That was around. And do you think we could? Do you think we could get our employee re medical records? I'm still under the impression this might have been someone that works here. What were you saying, Doctor? And I presume that Pick was here to drop off food for Wonder? I didn't see anything in their hand. They entered and then Nikolai interrupted me before I was able to finish watching what was going on. He said he would watch and very clearly he didn't, otherwise he would have reported something. I reported all this to Nikolai yesterday. Night. Last night. This morning he had nothing to report to me. Besides hearing a scream. But we all know where that was from. Just for reference, this is, this is over the table talk. Um, what are the like the specific hours for the day and night watch? Uh, five to five. Five a.m. to five p.m. Five p.m. to five a.m. So, who are the people on night watch, or is there no one? It's Nikolai. Ah. Nikolai, seven days. Myself, seven days. No time for any. Has anyone reported any medicine missing? Not to me. I doubt someone that needed medicine would approach me. Supposing this is med medicinal and was stolen, they would have gone to the front desk with lost and found, correct? That makes the most sense. Uh, doctor, if you mind, I have a lead. If you would like to share that, go ahead. If you need to, this if you need to. Um, share that information with a much more pertinent party, then I would suggest that you go ahead. Hey, uh, out of character, do you think we can get Logan to watch, uh, to watch uh, her while me and the doctor go uh, talk to the front desk? Persuasion. In, um, out of character, but technically also in character, I think at the moment, I um, Rowan would not. Because, like, Susan had just, like, got out of suffocating, so, like, at the moment, their attention is mostly on life support. Okay, I'm just trying not to, like, leave and, you know, just make it just me again. Oh, we'll talk to someone else when you leave. All right, well, then I'm heading to the front desk to ask about um, Lost and Found. Snowy! One moment. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'm just... Oh, I'm putting a... I'm putting speaker on. Hello. Hello.
What's going on? What you want to do? Oh, let's figure out about that. Um, I'm going to drag uh, Rose to Snowy's room so I can grab a few things before we set up area protection field. All right. As you guys head to your room. What's the plan? What's happening? Okay. Um, I'm going to reach into Snowy's drawer and grab a locket and stare at that for a moment. Love it. And then I'm going to reach under the bed and grab an axe. How did you get that past Shelly? We all have our secrets, Rose. I have mine. And yours is an axe? Of course. Of course it is. I mean, you could ask how I got this gun past Shelly, but here we are now. Oh, guns is easy to hide on a beast. But an entire I mean, axe? axe is easy. I mean, that's easy enough. Um, all right. Rose. Snowy. This may be a little far-fetched, because I'm not fully certain, but the gloves that were found in Phil's room when, Phil was, when we were searching when Phil got attacked looked very familiar, if I remember correctly, to Logan's that I saw, or the ones I saw Logan have. Logan was eating earlier. The black gloves? The black gloves. From the kitchen? Oh, they're from the kitchen. Mm. So anybody can grab the gloves. There's also a box in the cafeteria if you have fur. You don't want to get it mm. in your food. Let's see. Well, regar regarding that as well, I feel as if... Su so there was no forced entry into Susan's room before Susan was attacked. As we had all noticed, there was no signs of forced entry. No, there wasn't. So that either means someone had a key card to get in, or Susan trusted them enough to let them in. But if Susan was playing the game her sister wanted, then she what wouldn't have answered the door for game? anyone. But what if it's someone that's not in the game? According to Sarah, everyone was in the game. Hmm. You really think Sarah would make everybody participate? You really think I Sarah mean, would let someone not thought... participate? Sarah has her moments, I suppose. She had me re-engineer every single lighting panel in every single bathroom for this game. I think she was pretty thorough. Hmm. Maybe. How long I had to sit in a sit in room three three hundred and record hours of little USB drives for every single room. This seems a little odd. That some people don't seem like they're playing the game, and some of them looked confused when you even mentioned the game. Hmm. They might have been confused. I was mentioning it because of Sarah's orders. Or they just didn't know about the game at all. Sarah likes to play games with people that know the script. Why do you think Sarah is the one that jumped? Sarah jumped because we got in a fight. But you don't know that for sure. No, but it was right after. So Sarah could have planned it all along.
but had someone either had a key card into Susan's room, just wonders when Susan was attacked. Because the doll was found. And so that probably means Susan was attacked prior to us finding Susan. Quite likely. So the two guards, Nikolai and Logan, the day guard and the night guard, Bill was attacked in the night, but Nikolai happened to not see it. If Nikolai was patrolling the floors, of course. A lucky excuse, if you ask me. Maybe. But then the same thing for Logan. If no one was allowed into Susan's room during the day, and Susan's room is on the first floor, surely Logan could have seen anybody enter. But I asked Logan, and Logan didn't remember anything. No one entered. So then it makes you wonder, who's playing the psychotic game? Sarah. Who knows? She's... Sarah's not here. Well, either way, Authority should be here by tonight. Hmm. Allows either the killer to get away or for them to kill again. How? I mean, we all wondered how Phil got killed, but there was no blood left from being taken from one room to the other. We all wonder how Casey's door got unlocked. Even though it was probably 4th century. We all wonder how Susan got attacked. It's all a little bit of a guessing game. You're asking how, but you could ask how for any situation that's already happened. No? I see why she liked you. Hm. You're just as insane as she is. Of course I'm insane. Why wouldn't I be? I watched so many people die on that one boat. It go it makes some beast go a little mad. No? However, if the killer does strike again, more than likely it'll be against you. Maybe. Or with everyone watching me, it's going to be someone else. Exactly. Now you're catching on. You said no one should be out at night in the hotel. Quite frankly, that won't do. I think we should go hunting, Rose. Whether it's good for us or not, it might help us catch a murderer. Even so, the one thing I do ask of why you haven't done this already after calling off the game, if the killer keeps leaking the Coyart dog, the Coyart plushies, why not search everybody's room for Coyart plushies? That would be the most reasonable explanation. Because if they have they everyone's key, they can just easily put it in someone's room leading to a... False suspicion. But if they have everybody's key, then that narrows it down to the people who have everybody's keys. If anybody can unlock all the doors, sur surely there's only a few people that can do that, no? Yes, but also, whoever attacked Susan took her key. So all they needed was a first floor key. I suppose so. I hate to say it, but... I don't know if this bloody hoof print in my room was a sign, but I started to not trust Gavin. Well, remember, Casey got grabbed by paws, not hooves. Maybe. 
Maybe that's maybe what his like fabrication is. This is true. You can see a lot of things when you're so close to death. I know. I know better than most. You also can see things that aren't really there. However that may be, though, I plan to make a phone call before this night approaches us. Do you wish to borrow a phone? I would love to, because I don't have a phone. What happened to the one in your room? I didn't even know there was one in my room, to be honest. Yeah, like uh, looks over to the corner and you see there was one that where someone was there's like a dust trail around it what happened to your phone i don't know was someone else in your room not that i know of why is your phone gone that is a great question here and she reaches into her pocket and tosses you her phone. Thank you. You know the number? I know the number that I need to call, yes. Alright. I just kind of open the locket, take a little slip of paper out. Unfold it no, with I the phone number on it? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it'd be funny if it's actually money, like slips. Just take a little slip out of just money and just that has the number written on it. It's like, it's like a little, like, bundle slip that's worth a bundle. Save a bundle at Geico, everybody. <laughs> bundle and save more with Geico car insurance. Of course. The thing is actually run by someone named Geico, but it's just called insurance. Of course. Mm -hmm. I have to scroll past the layers of lore I have figured out on my own. I love how Snowy commands are. What do you mean? Huh? Snowy commands. Of course. Snowy is just so such a legendary character. Legendary. Oh, you're trying to read me in the wrong way? Denied. He's just, like, so in control of every situation he comes across, and I just love that. I love that for you. Okay. I keep, like, <laughs> I keep accidentally pressing the arrow and scrolling back down. I'm, <laughs> I'm just replying to it. I'm just replying to it. I don't care at this point. Yeet. <laughs> All right. You wrote so a I script. just kind of... Go on? You wrote a script for yourself. I did, because I wasn't going to remember what I was going to say, and so I was just going to jumble it up. Like, I have bad memory. I planned this out last, or previous when I thought there was going to be an episode last week. Um, but no, I kind of, I dialed the phone number on Rose's phone. Ring it in ding. At the tone, please leave a message. Hmm. My darling Alex, I don't even know if this is still your number. After so long, I would think you would have got rid of that old dingy, dingy phone. But I just needed to try before anything else happened happens tonight. You probably haven't heard my voice in so long. It's been many years since we last spoke. Um, this isn't my phone. I am borrowing the phone, but I wanted to try this last time in case something happens to me. There have been a series of murders at this hotel, and 
either I'm going to be next or I'm going to be a murderer again. I wanted you to know that no matter what happens, no matter how the fu- what the future may bring and how it's changed in the past, I will always love you, Alex Clark, always and forever. Uh, you see Rose pull out a little like kerchief out of her pocket and like dabs a corner of her eyes. Ha ha ha, Casey get wrecked. I made Rose cry. Ha 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 ha. Ultimate goal. <laughs> Ultimate goal. Ha ha. Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> sir, no, this is a Wendy's. You you don't get the Wendy's part of the Now then. Rose. Shall we get ready? For either a night of murder or a night of hunting. Honestly, no, but I'd rather not say no. <laughs> you can say no. I am just gonna have to get someone else to watch you. Or I can still watch you. Just have to keep an eye and ear out for any movement that may not be a good person, good beast even. Really, if anyone enters humane. this room and tries to act humane, I'll shoot them. I'll chop them. Not before I shoot them a second time. Yeah. That third bullet's the charm. Might as well shoot with you. And then use the axe, of course, because let's not take any chances. Roughly Don't need enough. magic being involved in bringing someone back. Might as well make them dismembered. Magic can't bring that back. Not one magic, at least. You know, as soon as I think you're somewhat normal, you bring back something else just makes me concerned. Of course. Would you rather be murdered? Honestly, no, but I'd rather not dismember something. You're not dismembering them personally. I'm doing that. Because magic can bring harm and good. Because where there is evil in our world, there is also good to balance it out. This may seem like an evil method, a humane method even, if you will, but this beast has tried time and time again and has succeeded to kill at least one of us. Like hell, I'm gonna let him try and kill me or you. So, might as well get ready. No way, no way. You scare me. Of course. I'm a lumberjack that lives in the mountains alone. You're an insane beast who decides to like the cold. I love the cold, but I'm not gonna stay in the cold the entire time. I can have my cabin. I don't sleep in the cold. I can can get over a lot of things. It's just the cold. And the dismembering. Everything else I was pretty okay with. I mean, I have a fireplace in my cabin. That's... I don't solely live in the cold. Every single time I've seen you, you've been outside, just floofed up, but you're on some high. I'm I'm a lumberjack. I gotta chop trees one way to make money. Well, I gotta be in the cold sometimes. <laughs> I'm not wasting my entire time in the cold. Alright then. AirPod just randomly connects when it's not even like very near me. Lovely. Love that. Hi again, Harrison. Yes. 
but shall we get ready, Rose? One way or the other. Something's gonna happen tonight. Probably. Let's get to it. Just kind of leave Snowy's room. <laughs> Where to go from here? Oh, is it still me or is it someone else? I don't know. Anyone else uh, want to pipe in and do something? Or do we want to start like planning last scenes? I'm I good to go for like another hour. Not, I love how Scorch has not said a thing. Proving to me that time slick is just asleep again, bro. There is no way. And Scorch is going to go, nah, uh Bro, bro, you've not done anything, Scorch. You're just a narcolepsy, okay? You just sleep a lot, okay? It's fine. Yes, but Everest. Everest, my buddy. My buddy old pal. Scorch can ask to do a scene. Scorch is just sitting here. We can go back to Gavin, by the way. We can. I'm just offering the scene up somewhere else before. Okay, there's an option of the time sleek gilamine scene. Is Scorch even awake, bro? That's the real question. That is a real question. I'm here. That's crazy. We could go Rowan Ga or Gavin Kelly. You do Casey. Casey's ready to go. Casey, lad. Sad boy. Sad lover boy. You ready? Sad lover boy, are you ready, sad lover boy? What is Casey doing? What be do Casey? Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Drink. <laughs> what be do Casey? What do he be D? Does Bill Casey be, uh, Casey, after the announcement, probably gonna start making his way back to the entertainment studios? Mostly, or no, back to his room, mostly just kind of grab his things. Mm hmm. Grabbing his things? Once he does that, he's going to hang. He's not leaving the hotel. He's not going mm. to do that. He's going to kind of just take it all to the entertainment center. Or the inter inter uh, English. The entertainment exactly. studio he was in. He, he does not feel comfortable sleeping in his own room at the moment, so. Hey, then, lover boy, moving in? Yeah, I suppose. All right, come back here. There's a room with only my key. There's actually two. Not even the orange one opens this door. Really? Yeah. At least that's what Shelly told me. Thank you. Of course. She takes, like, the... Two hands on the left side, like, scans it, hands it to you. He takes it and kind of stares at it a little bit before kind of turning to face her. Um, question. Of course. What do you like to do in your free time? Honestly, I just listen to podcasts. A lot of historical ones. Most. Sometimes I bull. Sounds fun. Yeah. 
Do you believe Chancellor Lockjaw was an Arctic wolf? I never paid too much attention in history and economics, so I wouldn't really care. There's just a lot of the same history interjection that happens every single advertisement about Chancellor Lockjaw, a documentary about the greatest war hero of all time, about how he had how he had a son and his wife was murdered and all that crazy stuff. But then they have they have Benjamin Snouthauser playing Lockjaw. But I thought since we know what Chancellor Wave looks like that Chancellor Lockjaw should look somewhat like him, right? I suppose that makes sense. We can't really be called the greatest warrior of all time if no one knows what you look like. I mean, the only thing they mainly remember is that his jaw was torn off. How can you have your jaw torn off and then still survive? In case you kind of take the, like, a hand paw rat thing to his jaw and just kind of shake his bottom jaw, like his jaw back and forth a little bit, thinking about the question. Are you trying to take off your jaw? Can you do that? No, I... I... Your hands can instinctively go towards your mouth? Can you do that? Uh, no. I, as far as I know, I can't rip my own jaw off. Hmm. Cool. Anyway, that's where we keep the bowling balls. Uh, don't be too shaky, otherwise you're going to be crushing bowling balls. I can also take the bowling balls out, if you'd like. We really have two. Think it'll be fine. Thank cool. You. Thank you. You just hear the like four snaps as she points to you. In that like bisexual finger guns kind of way. Stop. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> All I got my players one by one. <laughs> Casey, in a bit of, you know, Caseyness, isn't sure what, how to respond, so he just kind of just does it back very awkwardly. Do you know how to snap? I, I, I do. Cool. You snap, you point, you look good. And you already got the third one down. Casey... I don't, I don't want to point out, Casey has, like, like bloodstruck, bloodstruck eyes. Kind of like, the, the kind of eyes you get from, like, a hangover. Mm -hmm. And, like, some cheek fur. He has is a bit matted. So he, he is not his tip-top shape. Also, if anyone asks, you're not in here. I'll keep you safe. Casey just goes, sets his stuff down, and just gives her the tightest hug he could without hurting her. Oh, your hug is better than a cup of tea. You get hugged with, like, four arms. You know, I... I'm scared. So, so much... So much has happened. I... I, I don't know what to do. If you need to. A bit of catnip if you take that. What if what if I get kidnapped again? No one's getting through the store. Casey just lets out a deep breath and just kind of gently cries into her 
for a couple of moments. Like, uh, both her right arms rub your back. Welcome. You're safe here. He kind of just like does like the gentle push out of the hug and just kind of quickly nods while using his torn up shirt, his torn up coat sleeve to kind of wipe his eyes. I'm sure there's something in Lost and Found I can grab for you, for new clothes, if you need it. Well, we're gonna find your niece. She's really good with tailoring. That would be much, much, uh, much appreciated. I'll give you some privacy. Change out of those torn up clothes. And if you do need something, and she, like, hands you a little box of, like, Kind of like sage catnip chews. Very like herbal based like relaxation medicine. He takes the box. Reminder. Uh depending on the size of your beast, only take up to two. One last thing. Yeah. Don't tell Grace. Or do we? No one will know. I don't want them to worry more than they already have. Rose has had enough on her plate. I don't want to be another. You know, she used to spin plates. She was a very talented juggler. Oh, you meant that metaphorically. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Even so, I don't think she knows how to spin these kinds of plates. And I know I don't. I mean, she is married to Sarah Blackstone, so... Rest well. Thank you. Also, I'm going to say the clothes I found in the, in the entertainment studio. I might make them a little, like, oily. So, like, they were, like, used as, like, a towel or something. I'm not telling your niece where you are. Alright. Uh, again, thank you so much. We lost I don't think you. Oh, you bet. After saying I hate you, he then goes into the room, and he takes, so, you know how there's like a purple overlay to his coat? Mm hmm He's gonna take bits of that and just kind of wrap around his hands a bit. Mm hmm Because, during, I don't know, I'll say during the previous episode, he unintentionally kind of poked holes into his hands with his nails, because the rats have very sharp claws. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of just wrapping that. Love it. So. Again, he closes the door behind him and he just kind of sits and takes out his notebook. Anything else on your end, or shall we move the scene? Um, if anything, he'll just be writing some quick stuff, as a way to kind of vent to himself and to sneak it in there. Gotcha. No one will find you, because speed will keep you hidden. 
That sounded so threatening. No one will find <laughs> you, Casey. <laughs> Anyway, away from the threatening aura. Where, who, when. If anyone needs or wants to do a final scene of their character, they can. It's almost nine. I'm not calling off at three hours. From sad boy hours to, hey, murder. Uh, Casey, was that final scene for this episode? If it was, would you leave a uh, no? I'm just up this episode run for it. Got it. Cool. Who, where, when, how, why? I know Gavin's. Oh, Gavin's been waiting for Shelly and Logan. Got DM. Oh, yeah. what, do we, what do we think of um, dismembering, lads? Huh? Any any papers? No. No. <laughs> no, that's I mean, so unsettling. Like to have a conversation with Snow. Oh. Bye bye, Malibu. Bye bye, Gillamine. Bye, Malibu. Gillamine is not dead in the lore, guys. No. No, he killed Gillamine. No. You not kick <laughs> No. No, he's just kind of there. <laughs> so... Sorry. I think we're gonna go to Gavin looking for lost and found. Looking for a lost and found. All right. Um, I leave uh, the doctor with uh, Sandra and head towards the front desk. Every time. It's a different name, and I love it. Samantha. No. Samantha. No. Uh, Seraphine. Uh, at the front desk, you see um, a little lock with a frozen turtle ice pack on his forehead. Hey, do we have a lost and found? He opens one eye to look at you. Gavin! That's me. Shut at the front desk? What do you mean, shut at the front desk? I didn't say shut at the front desk. I hate that. I love that meme so much. I think I said sat at the front desk, didn't I? Why does it shat? Oh dear. It's sheep cat called a shat. You niece in. No, it's not. <laughs> it's called a shat. I'm oh, sorry, but bad. It's a little. It's a baby one. It's a shitten. Oh no. <laughs> I hate You're it. You're welcome, YouTube. This is what we learn now. I hate it. It's fucking. I agree. Anyway, <laughs> sloth with a turtle ice pack sitting at the front desk, and he looks up to you, Gillamine. <laughs> Not Gillamine, Gavin. 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 <laughs> we have a lost and found, right? Yeah. Uh, hi. It's hi. Out. Sorry. Um, has anyone been asking? Has anyone asked if they? Sorry, phrasing. 
Has anyone came looking for medicine? Like, headache medication? Or like... Something stronger than that. Something stronger? I don't think I can give that out. I have to go get Dad. Wait, I forgot. The... The sloth is the kid, right? I'm 20! Out of character. Yeah. The kid that was, uh, thrown. Okay. Uh, hey, you know where your dad is? Where dad is? Um... Or dad? He shouts and just... You see, uh, running from, uh, the cafeteria. You see Shelly. He, like, clears the reception desk table. To... Barry, you okay? Yeah. Gavin needs you. Oh. Gavin, nice to see you. Hi, yeah, it's important, but it's not time sensitive. Well, a little, but. Has anyone came uh, looking for medicine? Lost and found. Like someone's, like someone's missing medicine. Yes. None that was reported to me, except for um. Well, there was someone asking if we had uh. Like an, like an oral numbing medication. Like, n numbing the mouth or. Numbing the throat. Body, but you Numbing the throat. You take it orally. Uh, I think it was more. I think it, what I what I gave them was something that numbs the throat. They said they had plans. What? They said they had plans. Not sure about it. Oh. Suppose that's dead end. Wait, who's dead? Lots of people. Well, what? <laughs> you see him going to grab for his device to start ringing for people. I mean, just Phil, as far as I know. Oh, so no one knew it's dead. Sorry, I'm a little jumpy. Full sure you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Full transparency, uh, I just don't want to talk about uh, these subjects in front of small ears. Small Here. head holes. And he puts the headphones on a, a pair of headphones with like little, like a shell shape on the top on the Barry's head. What's up? We found He can't uh, hear you right now. He's listening to Beast Pop. <laughs> we found a strong sedative in in someone's coffee and we're trying to see if it was stolen like from one of our guests. Trank or close to like short catnip. Oh. Enough to put down a beast. A beast like Barry or a beast like Logan? I suppose Logan, but the That's thing a lot of catnip. Think what uh god would be applicable. Do you know of gods? No. <laughs> Make a name up. Zero. Make a name up. Thank Jesus. <laughs> they didn't finish the coffee. <laughs> What's the timestamp of the field? 240, 242. If you go to 240, 30, you hear me just squeaking like a seagull. I said, make one up and you said Jesus. Is that a deity where you're from? 
Uh, whatever, never mind. Uh, I thought who so. drank catnip? I <sighs> Sonder. Wonder? It's not Sonder, is it? No, it's not. It's Wonder. Wonder. Someone tried to drug her. Well, succeeded, but didn't. It um, wasn't lethal. Today? Yeah. During the... Well, yesterday, I suppose. The only people I saw entering... Her room... Was... Honey and pick in the in the afternoon. Uh, it was a pill that gave her the coughing. Oh, shit! Couldn't really be him. And then Wonder killed him. What? You forgot to turn the headphones on, Dad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he quickly plugs it in. No, Wonder absolutely could not have killed, could not have killed him. She was barely coherent, and that was after she woke up. Wait, did she just wake up from the meeting? Barely after. My God. What? Well, someone had to have tampered with it from it going to, from the cafeteria to the room, right? Yes, but we don't have any cameras. Logan, do you see anything? Not with Phil. My job's not watching Phil. My job is to watch the doors. And I saw who entered and I saw who left. You know, the doors is meaning just don't go to your room, don't go in a room, right? Well, no, I'm doing what I was told. And you see, he's like... All right, Logan. When you're told to watch the door, it means stand by the door and watch the hotel. It doesn't mean stare at a door. I know that, Shelly. Arguing isn't getting us anywhere. Fine. You're right, Shelly. I've not been watching the doors as effectively as I could be. Thank Please you for Logan. pointing that out. I greatly Logan. appreciate you. Logan! Gavin, I'm not arguing. I'm thanking him for pointing out my mistakes. You're one person. You're one beast. Not even a full beast. I didn't say that. Well, look at me. He points to his tail. This thing's dead. I never looked at you any differently. Oh, well, clearly you didn't. Everyone looks at me and thinks yeah. I'm so aggressive because of my tail. So I have to act that way. Now, I didn't say that. All I was saying was when you're watching the doors, I WAS WATCHING THE DOORS! So no one came looking for missing medicine? No. But I can give you a list of everyone that has been prescribed catnip. You have that? Yes, I have medical records. Or if we need any medicine, I can go to, I can go up to the hospital and get it if a guest needs could, it. Could you get that printed off? Of course. 
I appreciate it. Logan, please go back to watching the doors. Immediately, Shelley. Thank you, Logan. I appreciate your help today. Glad to be as useful as a beast could. And he goes by the door and just flops down onto the floor. Arms crossed. Um, so after I get that list, um, mm -hmm. it's like the sun's like setting, right? Not quite. It's oh. still like, like three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Um, just, um, it's near the end of the uh, session. So, uh, I just, uh, wasn't sure if it was going to be time for me to go watch the elevators by the time of the end of the this um the next session will start at the night because a lot of people have night plans there are people oh, are going no, to sleep great. now um, um so gavin's gonna give the list to the doctor and go to sleep um yeah go to sleep like with several alarms for um when night starts lit please mark down room 102 with several alarms. And that is your last scene for the episode. Or are you are you giving the list to Dr. Pine Hill or are you keeping it to yourself? I will um give it to whoever needs it. Well, to by to whoever needs it, I just mean um Dr. Pine Hill. All right. The list is printed off. It's like three pages long. Has a list of every beast, what medication they need, require if anything happens. You notice your name on there. At the very top. Just like in the first two rooms, your name's right there at the top. What do I need? Uh, it just notes that you have a uh, growth supplement for your horns. For a stunted growth, growth from years ago. But it's on there. Damn, they really do have everyone. <laughs> you like rip that slide a piece of paper off and hand the rest. Don't worry about being viper. That doesn't matter. <laughs> my, my horns are a normal length, right? Right, Roland? Doctor, my horn. I don't have a frame of reference. <laughs> Doctor, oh, my know. horns are normal, right? Some would say they're average size. <laughs> right? <laughs> some would even say they're, they're large. Some, <laughs> some. <laughs> Alright, well, um... With that, uh, Gavin's going Betty by so we can have a whole all nighter. Good night. Oh. Yeah. oh, you're leaving. Bye. <laughs> Someone please let him know he didn't need to leave. Uh, anyway. One of the following. Please let him know. He did not have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of that, I uh, got. I see you at the door, Mister Sleek. Do you want to do anything before, or do you just want to sleep the entire episode? I don't know, Mister Sleek. Are you tired? I don't know. You want to go talk to the chef and get some food, baby? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. You want to not do this? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you can do it if you want to. Okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't know. You want to fall back asleep in the cafeteria? No.
Scorched. Get mistaken as the murderer a second time. Four. It was me, guys. Uh, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Hello? Yeah. I wanted to apologize. Is this pick? Okay. Oh. <laughs> may have um, overreacted with putting the broken glass into your bed. With glass in my bed? I broke the vase. Oh. Um. Well, I accept your apology. I'm not sorry about the, the spray painting the wall or anything. But hey. the... Glass in the bed was a little unnecessary. Well, I, I. I felt bad, so I broke a vase and put it in my bed and slept in it. That didn't turn out well. So. Sorry. You hungry? Can I get you food? Um, I mean. You don't have to. I I could get it myself. I don't. I mean, I, I cook, so I could cook it for you if you wish. I mean, that would be nice. Okay. Um, what do you like to eat? Uh, if it's not vegetables or anything. <laughs> hmm. Like, as long as it's not like vegetables or anything. You search it like something sweet, savory, umami. I'm not, I'm not too picky. Do you like ragoons? I don't actually know what ragoons are. It's like a folded wonton with uh, meat inside. Oh, that sounds good, actually. Yeah, I can make you some wontons, some ragoons. Yeah. Um, I say yes. Of course. Uh, do you prefer the game, local game or like Bumblethin game? You lost me. Do you prefer what type of meat? Uh, no, I don't have a preference. Gotcha. You see as he walks away, his back is covered in blood. All right. He just walks into the kitchen, starts cooking, <laughs> puts his gloves on. Like I don't know. Five minutes later, <laughs> five minutes later, he comes back with like a plate of wontons and a little message and like some like some curry sauce. It says sorry for the, br and then he like the rest of it's like scribbled out. Yeah, I ran out of room. I'm better with a can of spray paint than the sauce bottle. Yeah, I realized it's still all over the wall. I'm sorry, I'm a little lightheaded. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. I'm gonna go back to my room. And he makes his way don't, back to his don't room. Sleep. Don't sleep on glass again. As long as there's glass in your bed, there'll be glass in mine. But I guess I'll get the glass out of my bed. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. And you see he stumbles before he gets to his room. Entire conversation. <laughs> Anything else from you, Time Sleek? I don't think so. Do you eat your Rangoons? Yes. Roll me a survival check. Oh. Warp point. 
<laughs> there are laxatives in your food. Roll me survival! Do it! <laughs> Do you general or general or time sleek chat? Either one. Yeah, Pick yeah, one. Yeah. Roll it in general. Roll it in general. I'll put you get I a am... one. Um a D twenty? Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Rest in peace, Stein. <laughs> you take a bite and like it's just fresh out of the the, the uh the fryer. So you just like a mouthful of hot oil? Uh... No, guys, guys, guys. Like, I, like, not anything here, right? Um, I love how I said I hope you roll a one. Sports ended up rolling a one. Greatest day of today. <laughs> oh my god. Just a god. mouthful of hot oil in the middle of your conversation. Uh, you, you could not speak next episode until you get like some oral antihistamine. <laughs> I'm so good at this. It was just gonna be how hot the food was, and you rolled a natural one. You're welcome, George. It's okay. I did this during my during one of my D and D campaigns too, but it was on the very first thing, so I just tripped and fell. I'm down tripped and died. fell and died immediately. Uh, I mean, pretty much, but like, I didn't die. We were fighting people, <laughs> so I, I'm I'm bound to Nat one state. <laughs> so um, love me. with a mouthful of hot oil <laughs> and watching a beast walk to their walk to the point of collapse. What does time sleep do? <laughs> I don't know, he can't speak anymore, can he? <laughs> Jumping up and down on the alligator. Hmm. Riding up and down on the elevator. Uh Time's very stupid, so he just continues to eat them. Continues to eat. Survival with disadvantage. Roll a regular survival check. See how hot the food is. Oh. Oh. This one, best Rangoon you've ever had in your life. The last one, too. It fills you with the determination. You'll have. It fills you with determination. Oh. You no. eat the last one? <laughs> yes. You better savor your last meal. I might as well eat my last meal. You bite into it and there's a glass. There's a piece of the vase in there. No! It's a stab you in the mouth. Uh, it fell no, out actually, back. roll it. <laughs> it fell out of his back! Nom, nom, nom. Let's see. <laughs> Dirty 20! You bite into it and it was like, you feel really good. Like, really good. Yum. Like, Really You've been drugged. Good. You've been drugged. Congratulations. You take a you second bite it. and you bite into like some something. And it's the best game you've had in your life. Game? Because I don't have a term for the wild beasts that live around here. Oh. It Play. is so good. Yeah. You could literally use prey. I could use prey, but that implies a different term. Yeah. Now I get what you mean. I get it now that you've explained it. 
your last scene eating in the cafeteria with the best food you've ever had. The first one fucking sucked. Yeah. Do you know anything about pick or just let him lay there? I should probably help pick. I mean, you did put glass in your bed, so. She did apologize, though. What do you put glass in your bed? Are you trying to get me to make a bad decision today? Maybe. What is my effect? I think that I'm gonna help pick. How? Yeah. What do you mean, how? What are you doing? Yeah. I'm gonna help him. How are you helping him? <laughs> like, assist him, I guess? Like... I'm trying to think of the word that I'm thinking of. Like, um, um, medicine check, get some help. Like, he's he's going to his room, right? He's laying down, like muzzle to the ground, in front of the room. I'm going to help him up and assist him to his room. You put your hand around, like, their back to try and help him up, and your arm immediately gets cut by some, some glass that's still in there. Do you, like, help him up? You really have to, like, hold him up. Uh, hey, Rowan. Roll me perception. Hey, Rowan, I need to a favor and roll an out one. Oh. If oh, it's yeah. helping, sign my course. Uh, oh, you man. see a very, like, like four-inch tall hyena. Arms crossed, oh. waving. I mean, um, before I leave the room, because I don't trust... I don't, I don't want, I don't like leaving this room unattended. I am going to whisper something into the pendant. Oh. One too many times Malice has come to bring ruin within this room. I ask if you are willing to ward this place against certain doom. You see, for a moment, a skeletal paw emerge from the emerge from the pendant and put itself un underneath the door claws sticking up but beneath the door fire from the fingertips as it goes deeper into the earth uh seeing that i i go over to the um figure the which one um, the four-inch tall figure. You see the hyena just kind of, like, sitting by the door? Um, uh, I look wait. around and presumably find the pick on the floor. Yeah, they, like, point over to, uh, find Sleek and pick Noel. What the hell happened here? The little ghost shrugs their shoulders. Just gets immediately just gets to work. Just, yeah, yeah, I still have my med kit. I get I get to work. Medicine check. Raving you in the afterlife. Cause you can't talk right now. Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. I see why the god of death is mad at you. <laughs> As you start working on it, you see the little, little, like, four-inch tall hyena. Kind of like, as you're working, you don't really notice them climbing up to you. But they look at you, 
like on your arm. They just kind of like tilt their head towards you. They look. Uh, like, I think he's sorry. too busy to notice. They get in your way. After that moment, they look at you. They look at their paw that's fading out of their sight, and they're like, they start shaking their head. They go over to one of the pieces of the vase and start like hitting their hands, hitting their paws against it. Um, I take a look at the corresponding paw. They look back to you and just shake their head once more. Do I look at my paw then? Uh, you... You're continuing your work. Nothing seems to change. Um. Hmm. Try to figure out how to tail this as a ghost that cannot speak would. You see the little, the little four inch hyena climb up onto the tail their own tail and jump onto the vase piece and the little ghost splits into two and for a moment neither ghost nor beast is present then once more as if forced to return you see the little ghost on the floor next to where the piece you previously removed was should i roll insight in this moment or would i know what this means it's it really is an insight Versus persuasion, I believe. That's a crit fail. With the insight check, you presume that this beast knew it was dangerous and proceeded to do it. That this was a mistake I made. And I can tell them this moment that... And, no, no. It's not that Rowan can tell in this moment, it's just that in this moment, whatever I am doing is not working. In this moment, the ghost is trying to tell you something before you bring them back to life that doesn't reach your ears before you complete your task. As the body is fully restored, the ghost is reluctant. As you begin chest compressions, the ghost fades rapidly. And as you are compressing, the ghost goes onto your hand and starts, like, hitting against your hand to try and stop you. And on the back of your paw, teardrops. In a okay, I think... pinkish color. I think that that would be evident enough, given... Um, the background that I set for Rowan's insight. Mm -hmm.
And I think in that moment, Rowan just, Rowan stops trying to resuscitate and goes back to their med kit for the incense. With the natural one, I will say it's not in time before the resuscitation. As the moments learned the next, you hadn't really noticed anything of what happened with the ghost till afterwards and the reflections. All of this was so quick and you have to get back that you just jumped into action. And you see on the ground the hyena is crying. Up from pain. But from something else. As once again, death has been prevented by your hands. Maybe not all death is supposed to be prevented. As you get up, time sleek and Pick and we'll have a conversation that you're just a little bit out of that moment to continue having. As you return to the room, keeping an eye, a very close eye on Susan Blackstone. You note that her eyes open. And that is where we're ending this episode of Mountains of Murder. Thank you for joining me. Have a good night.